I'm getting ready to tell you what I would do that if I came into the knowledge and knowing what's getting ready to happen and I have limited funds and I just told you the first part that I would do for the limited funds. And this part that I'm getting ready to discuss is uh, what I would do to try to get as much money or earn as much money as I could all the way up into the point of crypto winner. Right. And if you absolutely have nothing to invest right now, nothing to invest in Shiba Inu, you're actually at your bottom. Um, first of all, pray and ask people to pray with you that God will bless and bring in finances into your life so that you can be a part of this wealth transfer. Right. Because, like I said, there's two cycles. We have the cycle that's now. Right. The cycle could go on for a, a month before we see Bitcoin hit over a hundred thousand or two months. And, and we know that it's not going to just shoot straight up. It's going to have its ups and downs before it reaches that point. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is just look at your budget. Look at what you're spending your money on. If you, uh, is there ways that you can reduce your bills in any way possible and put that money up to the side? And is there anything that you can save immediately when you look at your budget so that you can put it into Shibu Inu? So that's what you want to do is look at everything that you're, that's coming out of your account. Look at where you're spending money as far as food and going out to eat because that, uh, those meals that people like to eat out a lot and could, could be used towards the wealth transfer. You know, if you have to maybe fast a little bit more that way you're not eating as much. So you're not spending as much money, but don't let the enemy know what you're doing. Right. Restrict all your buying and selling. Right. If you like to play video games, you know, hey, is that video game really worth buying? If you like to uh, if you have a hobby that you're involved in, right, that you like to spend money on. Right. Is it really worth going out of town? And then you got to spend money when you could be putting it into uh, something that's potentially could just take off. And then the next thing is, is there anything of value that you can sell that you can let go of? Right. And that so that would be the next thing, you know, and I think I've, I've done that over the years uh, already. When my son was diagnosed with, with leukemia, I had to in order for myself to get money, I had to sell off most of my awesome Star Wars collection. So I did that. But when you have a need or you need to get into something, you have to really look at that, because guess what? I could go back if I ever wanted to, which I probably wouldn't. If I sell something of value, you can always go buy it back when you have the wealth. And the other thing is, can you work more? So the next thing is, is can you work more? Can you put in a few more hours? Can you, I, I don't really like to say a part-time job because everybody's situation is different. So that's just something to think about. You know, can I pick up a couple of hours extra a week in order to, uh, earn money. Now, one thing is for sure, you don't want to really Uber or driver or deliver pizzas for extra money because that's going to put wear and tear in your car. And the moment you have an issue with your car, uh, then you're going to be in real trouble. So I've experienced that myself. Think about that. That's not for everybody. All right. And then now we've been talking about all these different platforms. Like I showed you guys how to get Shiba Inu, right? You do your, you do your learn and earn. Once you sign up, the first amount that you get is 16 bucks, right? You go through your learning earns and you earn the free crypto and then you would convert it over, right? Whichever crypto this would be. And then I would go and convert that crypto to Shibu Inu, right? And then make sure you do all your security and all that. But that's not the only platform. All these different platforms like Bitrix and KuCoin, Gate.io, they have some benefits and they run contests that you can win extra funds and every everything is different right like uh, if you go th do like your learning earns on all these different sites and you take part of sometimes prizes or or drawings that you can earn prizes and then of course you always want to share your uh, referral links like on your social media because if somebody signs up then you could get extra cash now some of these sites don't offer as much uh, sometimes, sometimes they go through phases. Now, say for instance, on Coinbase, if somebody signs up and they spend a hundred bucks, you get $10 in Bitcoin. Well, if they, if they sign up and it comes through like a week later, then you could take your Bitcoin and convert it over to 
Shiba Inu, right? And some of these other sites like Gate.io, uh, KuCoin does offer just, just a little bit in spot trading bonuses, but they're really big on the referral things. And so some of these different websites or other websites that you're on that I don't have here, they might have those learn to earns and to get extra things. Like uh, if you guys have seen the video on the Femix prophecy concerning that, I got like 60 something dollars in free money to use uh, is for contract trading, right? So then I had to turn around. I'm learning how to do contract trading and I've been watching uh, uh, on how to do it and stuff like that. And I'm seeing how, how it works, right? So I'm learning to use that. Hopefully I can, maybe the next time I show this Phoenix, uh, maybe uh, it'll be double that and then triple that. So uh, I saw one video on YouTube where uh, this lady was taking her free uh, Phoenix contract trading and she was just increasing it, increasing it over and over and over again. All right. So uh, that is possible, but you have to learn how to do that. Now, Phoenix, uh, like I said, that is a, that this is a prophetic crypto platform by Prophet Rob and he talked about it. So uh, if you haven't seen that video, I would check that out. So all these different platforms have some type of free something. And if you if they give you free contract trading uh, money, first of all, do not leverage. Never leverage your, your account because we've heard prophetically speaking that they are using that to liquidate you, right? You don't want to wake up and all of your money in your account is gone because you leveraged. You just leverage with the money that you have. And the cheapest one on Phoenix was Dogecoin. Right, so I could buy three contracts with the price where it's at now. So you want to take advantage of all your free items. Uh, if you look here on Phoenix, like they have this lucky, lucky daily lucky draws all the way through the 13th. Right, and I think I've already I've already opened up my chances for today, and I, I got a dollar in contract trading. And so I'll just add when I'm ready to make my next purchase. Uh, that'll just be added to whatever, but this is every day for 13 day uh, for the, till the 13th. You just have to really look around and look to see like uh, KuCoin here. Like you go on more, you have the rewards hub, right? You want to kind of check out the promotions, right? To earn extra crypto. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about, right? Especially if you guys have moved around from state to state, what I'm getting ready to show you is probably money that's going to come in later. Right. It's not something that the, the whole this whole process is not something that happens right away now. And I've talked about this before. That's missing and unclaimed money. And if you're not if you don't have anything or you're trying to increase what you have and maybe you have some money out there and which is going to allow you when you know you have money coming in, then you know that you can start putting money into this crypto or that crypto or whatever the case. All right. Now, missing money dot com. Right. Some states use this as an outsource for you to look up for your money, like the state of Ohio. Right. The state of Ohio uses missing money. When you go to look for unclaimed funds in Ohio, they redirect you from their site. Right. So if you live in. So when I do a search or if I'm searching for somebody or I'm doing a search for myself, the first thing that I'm going to do is. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is check to see if my state has its own uh, treasury to look for unclaimed funds. So I'm going to look up Illinois unclaimed money uncla or unclaimed property. It's not just about money. It's about property, too. This is the official page for Illinois. Right. So then I'll type in my name. I'm just doing this as an example. So I put in my name and everything, and look, I have one thing that's under 100 bucks uh, from an address that I used to live at. So guess what? I'm going to go ahead and claim it. Now this is, this process is, could take anywhere from once I get all my papers uploaded, you have to hit claim and follow the instructions, right? And you have to give them your email and all that. So I have something here for under 100 bucks. It could be 50 bucks. It could be 75 bucks. I don't know. But that will be money that will come in later on. When I get it, guess what? It's going into the bank and it's probably going to go into cryptocurrency, right? And maybe it'll come around the time, uh, even though that uh, we should be pretty well off, you know, by the time crypto winter hits, that's not going to be the same for everybody, 
right? So if you miss out on this first major run and you realize that you do have lost funds or property or whatever, by the time that crypto winter hits, this money should be coming in. All right. So just to give you an example, Ohio. So even though so even though it says Ohio Division of Unclaimed Funds, right, it's going to tell you to put in your name and it's going to direct you directly to missing money. Right? So I used to live in Ohio, but none of these are mine. So let's do Texas. Texas has its own division to where you can search. And then you can you can do a search for uh, in California, right? And if, if there if you have if you have moved from state to state, all right, and you want to check both you and your and your spouse, right, under both names, right, and you want to check each state under your maiden name, or if you've changed your name, all right. So if if you if you're a woman and you got married and your name was changed. When you look for it, don't look under, don't just look under your, your married name, but look under your maiden name too as well. That if you have a loved one that has passed away, say a mother, a father, maybe a brother that didn't have any dependents, right? If you have access to that, if you are one of the heirs or the sole heir, then you have a right to that. So you're going to search the same way. You know, your father's name, which states did he live in, right? Was he in the military? All that stuff, right? And then your mother, you know, what states did she all live in? And what? Was, and you're going to search under her married name and her maiden name, right? If you have a deceased brother, you can, it's the same thing. You know, you're going to look it up, find out, try to remember where what all states they lived in. So this is what I have found. Look, um, helping other people uh, see if they have anything out there. If I go to their state site and I type in their name, and it doesn't show anything under their name. Right? And then I go to missing money, and then I type in their name, look at the exact same state, and then I see something on missing money. So that has happened before. So you have to, if you see that, then the best thing to do is to call in. Uh, whichever state that you're in, you get the treasury number for unclaimed funds department and you call that number you ask them to run your social security number so this is a process that could take some time uh, one of the things um, one of the things is is you just have to make sure that you're organized when you're looking for lost money for yourself and for your spouse and for loved ones that have passed away to make sure you, you can gather as much information as possible then that way especially if you don't have anything right now and you do this search and you find out you do have you know, maybe $5,000 all together somewhere, you know, between different entities or whatever, or just for yourself, maybe uh, child support payments you didn't get, tax returns you didn't get, refunds you didn't get. Not only that, your businesses too as well. Your business, a lot of people who deal with vendors oftentimes don't receive their vendor payments, or maybe you had a business that shut down, uh, you know, look it up anyway, right? If you have a current business, and you do a lot of transactions make sure you make sure you look that up that business name too as well it's not just personal but it's also business too as well um, these are some of the things that i would do uh, knowing what i've heard in the prophetic uh, mostly everything that what i have right now would be is right now focused on shibu inu and if i didn't have anything it would be focused on shibu inu and hopefully that you guys will start looking at all those things as you start saving as you start saving for these different uh, cycles that we're going to be going through. If when you're looking for yourself and you happen to find a family member, print it out and give it to your family member and let them handle that. Because that's one of the things is that people get really offended when you find something, when you're looking for yourself and you come across one of your family member's name and you say, hey, I found this when I was looking for myself. Sometimes they can get offended. That's happened before. So you got to be careful of that, but also too, uh, they could turn around and be a blessing to you as well. So if you are looking for yourself, uh, you, you may cross other family members that have some money too.
So just be cautious. You print it out. You give it to them. You know, if it's a lot, you never know. They could, you know, sow a seed into you uh, when they actually get everything. So there's some other links that are going to be down below in the description concerning uh, looking for lost money because this is not the only one. And what I mean by that, there are other entities such as the military that you can search to see if you have any uh, funds that are available to you that you should have gotten before, right? So I have a link that goes that goes through every single website. So that's going to be down below in the description, right? Because I want you guys to prosper. I want you guys to, if you guys have, why, you know, if there's money out there and the banks are just making, or the treasure, the state treasuries, they're just getting all this interest off of your money that's in there. In the past, when I actually tried to do this, like it's, you can't really do it as a business. Uh, most states don't allow you to contact people or like are charged for these type of services to look for lost funds because first of all, it's free available already online. Uh, but uh, there are so many businesses that I contacted and very few individuals. The only individuals I ever contacted was people who owned the businesses because I would find a business that had two or three hundred thousand dollars just sitting in unclaimed property. And I would look up the company. I would look up the CEO and then I would send him the message whether the business was either closed down or open and never got responses. So it was very tough. I thought maybe something it would have brought some type of you know, some financial blessings out of it, but it was very difficult. And people think you're trying to scam them and all that stuff. But literally, like finding businesses that have just thousands and thousands of dollars they never collected, even from years ago, right? If you had a business 20 years ago, that particular business might have some money out there sitting in the state treasury. So I hope that you guys have understood everything. Uh, look at your budget, restrict maybe some of your buying and selling of different items that you don't need. Is there anything of value that you can sell that you can let go, maybe even buy back later? Uh, can you work anymore? Uh, make sure that you do all your free stuff, your free cryptos on, on the various different platforms that we've discussed. And then of course, look up for unclaimed funds for yourself, for your spouse and family. All right, and then the last thing again, if I just had a hundred bucks right now, I would put it in the Shiba Inu. If I just had 500 bucks, I would probably put it mostly in the Shiba Inu. And if I had a thousand bucks, I would probably put a lot of it in the Shiba Inu, maybe spread a few other things out, right? And the more money you have to work with, the more you can spread it out. But my focus, I just wanna say again, that it's on Shiba Inu right now and getting as much as I can. I hope each and every one of you uh, are able to benefit from everything that I just talked about today, including the unclaimed funds. So again, thank you guys for listening. God bless. With that being said, TC out.